views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Sunflower Media Mint. Some programs might include strong images or language that not might be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What can you do with 30 minutes? For us, we define things. Straightforward. New perspectives. No gray area. It is black and white. You're listening to the new You Podcast. Leading back to the pod. It's a, it's a Wednesday night, 10th of June. Back on the new You Podcast. Live at Facebook. And, well, we're trying to go live in IG right now. Because, well, we have about... Thank you for following our IG account. We have about uh, 15,000 followers now, guys. Okay. Um, so, back on the pod, tonight, together with Reg, uh, we have a doctor in the house. So, yeah, it's, it's good to have my good friend here in the show, uh, well, to educate us and, well, somehow... <coughs> Share us, kamusta naging buhay for the past two months sa medical industry. Kamusta mga nangyayari. We have Doc John Rakino on the house. Welcome to the show, Doc. Hello. Good evening, Welcome, guys. Doc. Hi. Kamusta, kamusta ang... Well, kami naka-quarantine, pero ikaw, hindi. <laughs> <laughs> kamusta right. buhay frontline, Doc? Kamusta? Well, ito, nakapag-adjust na rin sa wakas. Initially, uh, hindi mo kasi alam kung sino yung may sakit eh. Kaya I can say mm-hmm. na yung mga, yung mga naunang nasakam ng mga, mga frontliners, eh, siguro hindi nila alam yung patients sila may COVID-19 so nahawa. But right now, uh, mm-hmm. doctors are more careful. Mas uh, they're aware of their situation. Kaya talagang todo protect to protect yourself at all times. Well, hirap eh. Uh, well, wala tayong... Well, at this point, with the news that we are hearing, diba, everything is still uncertain. Wala pa tayong kalinawan on things, on what's going on talaga, on how. I mean, pero later on, on the show, on on, on your perspective, maybe we can talk about it a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, for, yeah. For, yeah, for for those who don't uh, who doesn't know, well, Doc John is actually um an uh, in, internal tama to, eh? medicine internal specialist. medicine yeah yeah so so internal medicine specialist so uh, like what we said naman on the show this is all real talk <laughs> we're not guesting any yeah. any fake doctor here <laughs> he is a legit doctor <laughs> in the house so. What we're trying to do here is somehow makita natin yung experience nila as a frontliner how how they are really feeling kasi it's 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 very different to be um just watching in the sidelines eh uh, alam natin yan daw I mean mm-hmm. uh, tayo I mean we we play ball at at times diba it's different when you're in the sideline watching the game and you're the one in the court playing the game in this case bench player ako ngayon yeah. Ikaw yun nandun sa court, ikaw yun nasa loob. So, well, on, on your perspective, on your perspective, um, kamusta? Are we, are we somehow doing better? I wouldn't say great, pero are, are we doing better than two months ago? Uh, yeah, oh, my, uh, there's a big difference now from the first way uh kung ba sabi mo yung first few cases of covid mm-hmm. kasi before uh wala it's a new it's a new thing it's a new disease nobody has an idea about it so mm-hmm. so ang dami talaga naging mortality but uh as uh, further studies have been ongoing tapos madaming na discover and learnings from other countries na na-apply natin dito you would see if you were you were dead na so kahit na makita mo na every day sa DOH na 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 numbers na lumalabas so yes. madami yung case 
Pero yung death rate, yun yung pinaka-importante. So, so minsan three lang, minsan uh, five lang. Yes. And the uh, se- severe cases are also dwindling. Mostly mm-hmm. yung mga cases ngayon, puro, ano eh, puro asymptomatic yeah. or mild cases na lang siya. So, at least, uh, although medyo dumadami yung case, the severity o yung, yung intensity ng sakit hindi na ganun kagrabe like before. Mm-hmm. Kasi, kasi before, yung mga lumalabas, yung mga senior citizen, wala naman restrictions <laughs> sa kanila na eh, no? So, tama, so tama. yung mga talagang nag, ano, those people who were victims of this COVID-19 are the real, the vulnerable ones, the elderly, the people with um, comorbid diseases, yung mga may kasamang sakit like hypertension, diabetes. Mm. There's, they're the ones who were really, ano, who succumbed to the disease. And ngayon, uh, they're more aware. Tapos with the restrictions, yung ECQ, bawal na sila lumabas. So at least, nabawasan yung chances of getting it. That's nice. Ayun, kaya, it's way better now. The, yung, kahit doon sa tapat natin, Harley, sa Adventist. Yeah. Uh, pag nagtatanong sa residents namin, yung cases, ano na lang siya. Uh, mild cases na lang. Okay. But there's still some, but not like before. That's Big nice. improvement na. Mm-hmm. So, Doc, um, for for you, naman ngayon yung clinic. How how are you <coughs> how are you doing with your clinic right now and your consultation with your pe- mm-hmm. with your patients? Yeah, uh, it's a big adjustment sa clinic namin. Our clinic in Bangkal, Makati has been there for 38 years, kasi uh. And we, we've never closed down ever. Ito lang. Itong ano lang, COVID-19 lang. So, um, kasi we, we never know eh. Uh, sa clinic kasi, come one, come all eh. Lahat ng may sakit, papasok eh. Uh-huh. Di ba? So, and uh, we limited uh, andaling makapanghawa. So, we made that a uh, very hard decision to close for one, one and a half months. We made sure mo na the the facility will be safe for the client for the for the patients. May mga change physical changes kaming ginawa sa kana gano nag downgrade talaga ng service. So we, hindi na pede yung mar- dati I, I used to see around thirty to fifty patients a day. Mm-hmm. Kung ngayon, mm-hmm. uh, nung May as uh, May four kami nag open ulit nag-start muna ako ng every other day. So, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday na clinic na two hours lang. Tapos limited to uh, five patients per hour lang para... So, imagine mo yung ganun ka, ka-drastic na, ano, na change. Uh, medyo, may, medyo, ano, medyo mahirap din yun eh. But, but now... Uh, we developed a, a, a new system in the clinic. May queuing system na kami magano ka. Mag-online ka. Mm-hmm. Then you'll get a parang, parang QR code. Parang okay. So yun yung papakita mo sa clinic pa, para makapasok ka. Without it, uh, you cannot be accommodated. Yeah. And of course, bago siya makarating sa akin, dadaan muna siya sa triage. May resident doctor kami na ano, uh, magsiscreen ng mga patients. Okay. So, kung sabi niya na okay na, hindi pwede na pumasok. Mm-hmm. Pero, pero may mga nakakalusot eh. So, please, uh, huwag kayo magsinungaling sa doktor niya. <laughs> yung, Siyempre, delikado na yun ngayon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, meron kami, ano eh, magpapa-ultrasound lang daw ng dibdib kasi okay. masakit yung likod. Mm-hmm. Yung pala, galing na siya sa ibang hospital na meron pala siyang tubig sa lungs tapos suspect pala siya. So, Ah, <laughs> uh, mo tikla siya na kalas at oh, so. di kayo. Ando talaga 'yo. Napot. Oh, eh, tapos eh. Ato sa mira pa huminga doon sa mask kasi naka-N95 ga. So parang pag pagtapos mo magtrabaho, pag tapos mo magwork, kahit dalawang oras lang parang exhausted parang walang ka na, oras no? ka na nag- Oo. <laughs> oh, eh. Eh, kani eh, ganitong kadaldal natin, okay lang eh. Pero pag may mask na suot, ang hirap magsalita eh. Doble-doble yan yes. eh. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
ang hirap ng so, ang hirap ng mga adjustments pero i mean with with how yung mga changes in the in the in two months no ano napapansin mo doc mm-hmm. behave by mga tao i mean medyo nakakaramdam <laughs> ng takot nakakaramdam yeah. ng alam naman natin magkakaiba yan pero kumbaga sabihin na natin nung umpisa lahat mm-hmm. naman tayo we don't know everyone is not educated with this pandemic lahat tapos eventually may yeah, mga tao yeah. nakikinig-kinig eh we are not talking about uh, in general pero sa tingin mo in majority is it really helping? I mean <coughs> meron bang I mean someone talaga somehow behaving at this point? May meron pa rin talaga mga pasaway if, when I go around syempre mm-hmm. from house to clinic dadaan, yung, dadaan mo na kami sa palengke eh. yeah. as in walang physical distancing dito sa Makati eh. <laughs> Ay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, sa palengke dito sa barangay namin. Uh, uh, tapos, sometimes, may nakikita ka talaga mga tao hindi nakamas. Yeah. So, ano eh, mga full frustrate ka eh. Minsan, you want to roll down the window and shout at them. But, uh, syempre, <laughs> uh, makikilala ka eh. Pero, uh, in general, when I talk to other people, uh, my friends, um, my relatives ano naman sila uh, they know they know the gravity of the situation and they've been practicing naman the ano safety precautions hopefully hopefully uh, people would understand and accept the new normal kasi kung sa tingin mo babalik ka pa sa dati without the vaccine you're still hoping na there's still parties or or yung close close and walang physical yeah. distancing talagang we cannot move forward ah oh, true true mindset eh. mindset yung kailangan natin mm, totoo oh uh, so those little things na na taken for granted before you mm. know how important it is right now mm-hmm. yeah okay. pero doc um uh, just another question kasi syempre yep. i i've been hearing also na some some clinics or some doctors are, are already starting to do online consultation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, ha, could you could you um explain the process of that? Pan pan Because I I can imagine it. Medyo parang mahirap din yan online consultation, especially if may sakit yung pasyente or if mm-hmm. may kailangan yeah. diagnose, oh. no? Uh, madaming limitations yung online consult. But if it has been happening even before, mm-hmm. dati, may ano na eh, may call center na dati ng, ano eh, for online consult eh. Pero it has not been popular among doctors because of the limitation na hindi mo siya ma-physical exam. Kasi yeah, yung, exactly. the, oh, the practice of uh, medicine involves physical examination. But mm-hmm. uh, it, that's the main limitation for me yung uh, hindi mo siya mahawakan o mapapakinggan yes. through stethoscope. Yes. Tapos, paano kung malabo yung screen? Hindi mo makita sa picture kung ano yung yung rush niya sa skin niya. Mm-hmm. And uh, yung limitation ng laboratory test. So, uh, doon talaga lalabas yung ano mo eh, investigating skills mo eh. Mm-hmm. Yung art of medicine na sinasabi. On how to interview how to get a, uh, how to get a thorough history from the patient doon na yung pina-practice mo before nung med school eh. kasi m- dati may may subject kami physical diagnosis uh-huh. PD doon mo doon tinuturo ko ano yung questions sa dapat mong tanungin kasi pag may na miss ka na question doon um baka ma miss diagnose ang hirap okay. mm-hmm. so, but the online thing is uh well now no choice eh. Uh, a lot of people need to see their doctors uh, yes. but cannot go there physically. So, we're still thankful to God na may gantong technology. At least man lang yung makita mo siya, makausap mo siya, ma- tapos ma-resetahan mo ng mga... Kasi most of my patients are yung mga may uh, lo- long-term diseases like hypertension and diabetes. Mm-hmm. Na pag okay naman sila, we can just continue their med- medications. At least nakausap mo, na-advise mo. Pero kung may sa may magtatanong, masakit yung dibdib, or inuubo, nahirapan huminga, paano mo siya 
papakinggan sa status ko. Yes, syempre. Ko. Yun yung, that's the main limitation for me. But, um, if you're good in investigating and if you're good in interviewing your patient, taking the history, um, makukuha mo pa rin yung tamang diagnosis. Eh. So, parang kumbaga, for other doctors, it's back to the drawing boards. True. Uh, start to re- review again yung mga, di- yung, mga, yung mga diseases para pag nag-usap kayo sa, sa phone or sa, sa cellphone, medyo tumama tayo sa diagnosis. Ang ano ko lang dyan, isa sa maganda So, alam naman natin, ganyan people, eh, kinulong mo yan. Nag-trick. Harley, your audio, sorry, sorry. Your audio is kind of, ano, choppy. Okay, okay. So, what were you saying? Ah, sabi ko, ano, ah, at this point, di ba, let's say, naka, nakakulong, I mean, yung mga tao, naka-lockdown, quarantine and all, di ba? So, yeah. something that's triggering here is, for some, yung mga anxiety, mga mental health natin, and I think it's 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 a good thing for you guys, for the doctors, to actually reinvent <coughs> how how your industry is moving. Kasi, uh, one thing yung nagkakaroon ka ng interaction sa labas, eh. Uh, Kung baga, social interaction, to keep in touch, communicate and all. Pero yung sa inyo, lalo na dun sa mga may sakit, it's a good thing na nakakapagkonsulta sila on someone na, uh, uh, what you call this, specialista. Lalo na yung alam yung medical history nila. Did we lose, Doc? Sorry, sorry. There. Oh, yun. So, I think, maganda. I mean, right now, syempre, lahat naman eh, all of the businesses are, what you call this, uh, Re-engineering, kumbaga. Nag, nag, nag-i-innovate yung mga yan eh. And it's a good thing that we have this online consultation right now. Whether it, Of course, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> Walang nag expect na maging perfect agad tong lahat. Lahat to bago eh. So, dadaan yan sa process ng birth pains. And it's good to hear that we are starting it right now. Uh, Doc, I think with this, ano lang, with this uh, online consultation, no? Uh, yes. So, pag umabot dun sa point na let's say kailangan ng physical uh, check-up, kumbaga, <coughs> so, the, meron ka lang limitation na kung ano lang yung kaya mong ibigay na, na what you call this? Check-up dun sa pasyente mo. So, yeah. Yeah. Oo, hanggang saan aspect lang tayo. So, kumbaga, ikaw, kunyari, magkausap tayo dito right now, hanggang saan lang yung tipong kaya mo talagang mm-hmm. i-advise for me. And kung hindi, we go what protocol pag, when we go to the physical clinics right now. Eh, meron naman ano yun, meron naman yung uh, mga sakit na outright alam mo na eh, like uh, simpleng colds or simpleng uh-huh. cough uh-huh. Uh, or medyo ang dami ngayon sa akin papacheck up yung mga may hyperacidity uh-huh. tsaka bloated, bloatedness and shot, sobrang usong uso yun. So, uh, dun pa lang you can give uh, uh, initial medications and then if kung hindi mag-improve or uh, wala siyang makitang development, that's when you advise the patient to come and see you na. Okay. So, okay, ah, kung mas, medyo mas severe yung uh, complaint nila, uh, mukhang emergency for them, then you have to, ano, you have to advise them to go to the nearest uh, emergency room. Very mga simple cases lang, sakit yung joints, yung yeah. mga yun, kain kain na Tapos, to add lang, Doc, no? uh, kung let's yeah. say mga questions, kasi ngayon nag-GCQ na tayo, di ba? So, work is, yes. oh, work is slowly <coughs> going back, eh. So, yung mga, syempre, mm. working class natin, nagsisimula na magsipasok yan. Uh, there's, mm. There are cases wherein, let's say, kailangan ng mga medical certificate para hindi na sila uh, mag, mag-onsite and they can continue to work from home. Is it really logical to get a medical certificate uh, just doing this online thing? Kumbaga, syempre kayo profession niya yan eh, as, as doctors, di ba? Mm. And I wouldn't, uh, I, I would like to think also na, syempre, when, when medical certificates are issued, uh, dumaan yan dun sa tamang proseso. So, kayo, I mean, uh. ikaw, personally na lang siguro, kung well, how, how do you find that? Let's say may lalapit sa'yo pasyente, Doc, pengi med cert, Kasi mag-go para mag-work from home na ako. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Uh, 
may mga nagtanong na sa akin yan. Pero with online consults for me, you cannot do that. Kasi madaming legal legal ramifications yun eh. Yeah. So, you really have to be certain that that person is fit to work. Although, um, by interview, makukuha mo siya. Pero iba pa rin yun na physical exam mo siya eh. Ang daling, sabi ko nga kanina, ano, ang daling magsinungaling eh. So, <laughs> wala naman kaming lie detector, di ba? Na nagsisinungaling ba to or something. Pero, uh, in terms of medical certificates, ayan, medyo before it was taken for granted. Yeah. Ayaw mo lang pumasok. Doc, pay med cert. <laughs> Gawain. Ngayon, sinabi mo, hindi <laughs> na pwede ngayon yun. <laughs> Kasi, sabihin mo, nilalagnat ka or syempre, <laughs> investigate ka, no? So, ngayon, wala nang... Very often na kasi, you know, very uh, serious times for living yan. Yeah. So, so ngayon, wala na nagkakasakit ng ganun, di ba? Mm. <laughs> Ayaw na nila ng lagnat. Pag nagbiro ka, may lagnat yeah. ka, kabahan ka. <laughs> diba? Tatawagin niya agad yung barangay. Oh. Susunduin ka niya agad. Pag-quarantine yeah. niya yan dyan. Pero ang maganda doon, kasi uh, pwede pala work from home even before. Yes. Diba? Yeah. So, na, nagagawa mo pala yung trabaho na ano eh, na dyan lang pala sa bahay. So, if that's one good thing that COVID has done, it's made things simpler for other people na pwede pala sa, sa bahay na lang trabaho. So, less yung risk mo na magkaroon na infection ng going out. Siyempre, magko-commute ka, makikihalubilo ka sa mga tao, eh, nagagawa mo pala yun at the comfort of your home. May mga nakakausap lang ako, nahihirapan sila kasi uh, parang na-consume na yung time nila sa work from home. Parang Anytime, pwede, pwede yata kayo tawagan or... Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's, no, there's <laughs> no defining line between work-life balance kasi pag yeah, nasa bahay. Yan, yan ang mga linya ng mga pasyente ko sa akin. <laughs> Kaya, sa, some of them, gusto na rin bumalik sa office. Uh, kasi walang break time. Eh. So, Doc, Yes, yeah, yeah, Doc, we actually have a question in the comments from mm. Juan Pedro Avila. He's asking, Hi, Doc, what do you do um, to deal with the stress of having to think about COVID every time you enter a hospital or your clinic? How do you cope as a medical professional? Oh, yeah. Well, my coping strategy here is to always protect myself. Kasi hindi ka pupunta sa isang laban na wala, nakabear. So, i, yung mindset ko parate, uh, I always treat anyone as a suspect. Kahit, kasi you will never know it. So, the best yes. thing that you can do is to protect yourself. I go to the hospital with a N95 mask, with face shield pa, tapos with all coveralls. Tapos sa clinic naman, uh, mm. talagang full PPE, medyo... Uh, yung mga iba sabi over yung outfit ko pero kasi I, I might bring the disease at home eh. Bro, may kids Take ka ba? better safe than sorry. Oh eh. Yeah. Uh, dati I take it for granted also before. Kahit may inuubo sa harapan ko na pasyente. <laughs> wala, wala. Okay lang yan. Oh, malakas ako, malakas ako. Pero ngayon, now that I have two kids, <clears throat> four and two years old, bo- two year old boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sila yung iisipin mo ngayon. So, uh, the only thing that I can do is to gear up and protect myself. And, hindi ko yung pwede pabayaan yung patient. So, kailangan ko pa rin silang makita. So, that's the only thing. Stress-wise, um, well, I have a deep sense of faith. I'm My faith is uh, anchored on my Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, whatever happens to me, uh, I'm sure that uh, I'm taken care of. Alam ko saan ako pupunta. So, uh, if that's uh, one stress breaker then yung fate mo. So, uh, wh- whatever your fate may lie into, uh, make sure mo lang na you're connected. Very true. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> tungkol naman dyan sa usapang hospital. Uh, Actually, kanina pinag-uusapan natin ito off-air. Pero, well, uh, 
Huwag natin banggitin yung hospital. I mean, pero, uh, I recently talked with, with, with a person dun sa hospital na yun. Uh, and mm. honestly, honestly, no, kumbaga, uh, since we're talking about the new consultation, kumbaga, hindi naman natin sabihin na ito yung norms ng consulting ng medical moving forward kasi maraming magbabago-bago dyan, syempre. Uh, like what we always say on the show, mm. di ba? Whatever you hear in the show, if you want it and if you think na may use yung narinig ninyo, adapt to it. And if you think iba naman sa lungat sa pananaw ninyo, just, just leave it. Yun lang naman yun. So going back, I mean, uh, nakausap ko tong isang uh, uh, well employee somehow nung uh, hospital. And then, this is more of a, sabihin na natin nakakaangat-angat sa taas. Hospital talaga. Mm-hmm. And their, their concern right now is the business of the healthcare. Kasi, uh, for the past two months, okay, I think, uh, since wala naman tayong binabanggit, no? so this is nothing confidential. It's really affecting the business. Mm-hmm. Yung business side. For example, uh, if we're talking about uh, negosyo for the past two months na hindi nagbukas, hindi nag-operate, bagsak na nga eh. Pero to hear from a healthcare sa hospital mismo na sila sobrang zero to negative pa yung cash flow ng pumapasok yeah. because yeah. for one, feel health. Pangalawa, HMO. So, kumbaga, <laughs> yung, yung payment, may inaantay ka, yes. Pero for the past yeah. few months, totally wala talagang pumasok na na ano doon, na, na cash. So, first question, mm. Doc, sa'yo, perspective mo lang, how will that affect yung industriya ng negosyo ng healthcare? Kasi, um, for some, if this online consultation clicks, sabihin natin, it can somehow sustain a bit ng kung ano yung nangyayari. Kasi, yun daw yung nagiging practice din ng mga ibang doctors dun eh. So, parang, for, mm-hmm. so, since medyo paraning na nga din pumunta ng hospital, uh, nagkoconsult na lang din sa bahay or online kasi natatakot na rin magsipasok. So, ikaw, sa tingin mo, how do you think it will affect the business ng, ng hospital natin? Well, malaki eh, kasi it will be harder for patients to go to the hospital kasi yung numbers yung bumab- Yeah. So, like me, as I mentioned before, I've been seeing mga 30 patients a day, tapos maging 30 patients a week siya. Sobrang, mm. so, yung income, sobrang affected siya. So, ganun din. But, uh, tapos, yan nga, uh, PhilHealth, HMOs, mm-hmm. they, they don't pay on time. They Tama. pay around three, they're behind three to six months. Wow. So, if oh. yung has, hospital... Mm-hmm wala siyang wala siyang revolving funds tapos ang daming expenses yan ang daming pinapasweldo ang mahal ng gamit Tama. ng mga machines Tama. yung mga gamot uh, you you there there's some truth talaga yun sa mga reports na there will be hospitals that will close down mm-hmm. because it's really hard to sustain that kind of business lalo na kung walang cash flow na pumapasok kasi kung puro charge lahat yun. Yes. Hintayin mo pa yung payables mo paano kung wala ka na mapasweldo. Say, di ba? And and this is the reality that ano most of us doesn't actually know, kumbaga. Uh, for us pag naririnig natin na merong, uh, di ba? Pag merong kunyari nagsara or what, bakit? Eh maganda naman uh, hospital 'yan, maraming pasyente, maraming negosyo. Pero in in reality, uh, yan yung mga realidad eh. Kumbaga, hindi ibig sabihin na nag operate yan or necessity yan at this point. Let's face it, necessity na nga yan eh. Hospital. And yet, still, meron pa rin tayong challenges on the business side. Yeah. yeah. Yan yung mga ano, I mean... Well, Siyempre, kailangan mo pa rin mabuhay. Business yan eh. Exactly. Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, ang long-term na pwede mangyari dyan, is you will increase the the cost. Like yung mga professional fees, tataasin, kasi you have to pay for, you have to pay for the equipments, the, ano, uh, yung mga PPEs, eh, mahal ng PPEs, sa mask tree, na N95, cost you around 250 pesos. Mm-hmm. Tapos, paano ko yung uh, professional fee mo is uh, 400 So, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. so, talagang yun ang magiging effect nun. Tataas talaga siya. And 
mostly in mga outpatient clinics right now are by appointment so uh, hindi mo ma-accommodate lahat okay uh, hindi hindi mo so limited yung patients mo rin na dadating and then syempre you're also limiting the exposure kahit na gusto mo mas maraming patienting tingnan uh, because of the danger you have to limit the the patients that will come in so it's really challenging times for for doctors as well. Uh, I could imagine the other ano, the other specialties. Kasi ako, internal medicine, uh, may magkakasakit talaga yan. Pero paano yung mga dermatologist, mm. na, yung mga cosmetic uh, surgeon, yung mga ganun na, uh, yung mga nakikita ko affected din. Mga pediatricians din, uh, yeah. sa clinic namin na by experience, uh, by experience. Kasi ayaw lumabas, siyempre. Yes, uh, tsaka mostly, pinapacheck up ng mga kids. Eh, siya, fever, diarrhea, yung mga symptoms ng, ng oh, pang-COVID. Eh. Eh, so, matatakot. But some innovations done by by hospitals mm-hmm. is, uh, yung yung hospital mismo nag, ano, nag-initiate kung paano gumawa ng telemedicine. Mm-hmm. So the doctor can still come in but uh, may naka-prepare na na ano sa kanya computer tapos tatawag na lang yung patient. So may share pa din yung hospital doon sa magiging PF nung That's ano nice. nung doctor. So evolving evolving naman yung medicine. Kumbaga they they Hopefully provide maka- they provide the facility for you for kumbaga sa professionals. Oh, yeah. Uh, they set it up for you para yung mga medical records, ganyan. Uh, maayos lahat. Raj, anything to, ano? Yeah. Ask? Um, no, actually, nasagot na ni Doc lahat ng tanong ko. <laughs> well, <laughs> marami yung tinanong nung beginning, eh. Sa akin, ano lang, um, I mean, eh, before we wrap things up, uh, Doc, ano lang, um, hmm. uh, for those siguro sabihin na nating hindi naman may iwasan din that say magkakaroon ng ng nararamdaman or na, nagkakasakit ang mga tao uh, mm-hmm. syempre yung online consultation andiyan pero how do we ano how do we address yung mindset din nila when they really need to go to the hospital kasi syempre lumalaban diyan yung ano eh ayaw nilang pumunta ng hospital dahil takot na baka magkaroon pa ng sakit pero what if talagang kailangan mong pumunta ng hospital so what can we um, give uh, oh, oh, ba sa mga tao? Well, uh, don't be afraid kasi uh, the ERs right now, of, well, dun sa hospital na pinag-work ko, uh, hiwalay naman yung COVID ward, yung COVID uh, emergency room sa regular na emergency room. Mm-hmm. So, if you really need to go, uh, don't worry the hospitals are equipped naman to to handle your situation pero yun din kasi dati uh, when i was a resident on duty mm-hmm. may dadating na at 2 am in the morning magpapa medical certificate lang yung mga ganun uh, wala wala na <laughs> well, like, say ano goodbye na? to those times alas <laughs> <laughs> dos wala ning ganun oh Ta- tapos amoy uh, tapos amoy alak pa na <laughs> oh my God. 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 Oh my come to the ER and we'll take care of you. Uh, hiwalay naman eh. So, there's a triage. If uh, it's not COVID-related naman, you can go to the emergency room. But it's if it's kind of COVID-related, there's a, also uh, a space for them. Yun lang. Just don't take it for granted. Well, that's, that, that's good to hear. I mean, uh, kahit paano... Uh... Yung mga ganun kasi, I mean, ako pagka, pagka medyo may nararamdaman kang ganyan, it's good to to educate yourself. Mm. 
And at the same time, educate yeah, yourself. Research. Oh, pero at the same time ako, educate yourself with people who knows. Kasi once you go searching sa internet, oh, then, uh, bare, alam mo naman. Oh, <laughs> baka. Sakit lang siya. Tapos, Doc, may cancer na ata ako eh. <laughs> <laughs> nag escalate yung sakit eh. Sabi. Merong mga ganun eh. Oo. Oh, Mas gusto ko yun. Kasi gagawin ko lahat ng laboratory sa kanya eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Medyo ko lang. Anyway, doc, Pero, mm, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh where where can they I uh, know? I mean, where can they uh what do you call this? Somehow go in terms of consultation. Online. Uh, online. Sa sa Yeah, oh. Sa, sa akin? Oh, I yeah, mean, online. Yeah, me mm, me and my wife uh we made a Facebook page uh, called uh, Consult with the Rakinos. So for inter- internal medicine cases, uh, adult medicine for me, and for my wife, she's an OB gynecologist. So yung mga buntis, siya may mga problems sa uh, female reproductive organs. They can uh, uh, message us and uh, we'll take care of them. But we're also, yung, uh, our, our clinic is open already. It, it's uh, RG Medical Clinic in Bangkal, Makati. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, RG Medical Uh, clinic Makati. So, uh, you can set up an appointment and uh, we'll take care of you. Hmm. You still go by the Adventist? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a visiting consultant there at the Adventist Medical Center, Manila, in Pasay City. So, for ano lang yun, for admissions. But I don't have a clinic there. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Well, b- before we, we we end the show for the night, um, well, we have this giveaway, Reg. Yeah. So actually, like what we mentioned yesterday, if you guys weren't tuning in yesterday and you're just tuning in now, so we're actually giving away an iPhone 11 Pro Max or 50,000 pesos cash to two lucky winners. Um, The mechanics are very simple, so you need to follow the giveaway account and the second account of the giveaway. Um, aside from that, you need to follow all the accounts that both of those accounts are following. You need to go to our Instagram page at the new QPA and like the photo of our giveaway post, right? And basically, it will be until June 12, 10 p.m. So you have until Friday, 10 p.m. And the winners will be announced live on Instagram at the giveaway accounts um, IG Live at June 13, 5pm. Tama ba? 5pm early. <laughs> Tama. Hey, so, the, well, that's about it for tonight. Uh, no, All right. Salamat. Salamat for, for joining us, for, for having yeah, you Thank here. you. That's very nice. Uh, well, for, 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 those, for those watching, for those who followed us on Instagram, thank you so much. I think right now we're running at about 15,000 going 16,000 uh, followers right now on Instagram. Yeah, uh, well, we, 9, yeah. we we have our Facebook page. So for those who follow us on Instagram, show some love on Facebook. And after this show, you can catch this um, uh, episode on Spotify and Apple Podcast. You can download and listen to it again. Uh, Well, what what can I say? I mean, it, it is what it is right now. Uh, we're at a very we're at a very uncertain time of our lives. Pero mm-hmm. it's still ju- just stick with our course. It's still like what this show is all about. Still straightforward. Still black and white. Always the new you. Night, everyone. Bye, sir. Doc. Good night. Bye. 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 Stay Soon. safe, Doc. Thank you.